morning. Today we are discussing about uh, another rearrangement that is uh, Schmidt rearrangement. Schmidt rearrangement. Like your uh, Hoffman rearrangement or Curtius rearrangement or uh, Lawson rearrangement, in Schmidt rearrangement also we are getting isocyanate. This is another method or another rearrangement for the preparation of isocyanate. In Schmidt rearrangement, our carboxylic acid is treated with hydrozoic acid. In presence of sulfuric acid, we get isocyanate. So carboxylic acid is treated with hydrozoic acid. In presence of sulfuric acid, we get isocyanate. So, carboxylic acid R C double bond O H react with hydrozoic acid H N three H N three R C O O H R C O O H carboxylic acid R C double bond O O H react with H N three hydrozoic acid in presence of H2SO4, we get isocyanate R N double bond C double bond O. So uh, the rearrangement occurring during this reaction, this is what is known as the uh, Schmidt rearrangement. Let us go through the mechanism of uh, uh, Schmidt uh, rearrangement. Look at here. We start with carboxylic acid R C double bond O O H carboxylic acid. The first step is uh, 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 protonated with uh, sulfuric acid. That means uh, H plus from H two S O four, and you can see that uh, this lone pair is uh, uh, attacking on this uh, H plus ion, and we get R C double bond O H with a positive charge, and here it is uh, O H. Because of this protonation, we can see that uh, the carbon atom will become more positive because uh, you can see that uh, this bond is uh, has more tendency to uh, go to oxygen. That means uh, carbon is carbon atom will become more uh, positively charged. Therefore, now you can see that our hydrozoic acid. Now in the uh, next step, you can see that uh, uh, hydrozoic acid that is uh, HN3 hydrozoic acid HN3. Now look at here the actual structure of hydrozoic acid. HN3 can be written as HN double bond N double bond N and look at here this nitrogen is having four bonds. Of course this is positive and this one is negative. Okay, uh, this is the structure of HN3. Now look at here the negatively charged end of the hydrozoic acid will attack at the positively charged carbon and what will happen? This pair of electron, okay, this bond, one of these bonds will be shifted to oxygen. So here you can see that the hydrozoic acid, same only, hydrozoic acid is acting as a nucleophile and it is attacking at the positively charged carbon. Because of this protonation, you can see that the carbon atom will become more positive. Then during that time, the hydrozoic acid is attacking on that positively charged carbon. And uh, what will form, look at here, what, is, what we are getting, uh, it, is, it will be like this, R, here it is, C, OH, C, OH, I am writing this OH here, OH, correct. And what is joining here, N, this N is joined, double bond N, double bond N, H. Okay, N H, and again this is uh, positively charged. Okay, this is this is uh, uh, this uh, structure we are getting. Look at here, uh, the negatively charged nitrogen is attacking on this carbon, and that means uh, N is attaching to carbon N double bond N double bond N H. Uh, of course, again this uh, uh, nitrogen is having positive charge, and in the next step we can see that uh, if there are two OH group at the same carbon. That means uh, diode uh, at the same carbon, two OH group at the same carbon, what will happen? There is a, another rearrangement, we know that the same structure only I am writing. You can see that R, C, OH, okay, here it is uh, OH, and again the same thing, N, double bond N, double bond N, H, N, H, and here it is a positive charge, 
and you can see that uh, if there are two OH group at the same carbon, what type of rearrangement this we have studied? This bond, OH bond, okay, correct. Then what will happen? Okay, this bond is uh, shifting to here, so it will become double bond. And uh, OH is eliminated, OH uh, minus is eliminated. It will join with H plus and uh, what is eliminated? Minus H2, oh, H2 is removed from this molecule. This bond is coming here, it will become double bond. So if we get a structure like this, R, C, double bond, O, then uh, what is that? Uh, N, double bond, N, double bond, N, H. Here it is, this nitrogen is having positive charge. Very simple step. If there are two OH group at the same carbon, this rearrangement, the OH, this bond is migrating, shifting to here, so it will become a double bond. Simultaneously, this uh, OH bond is breaking and uh, minus H2 is eliminated. And in the next step, again, our hydrozoic acid, I am writing uh, again the hydrozoic acid, you can see that uh, H, N, double bond, N, double bond, uh, uh, N, double bond, N, this is plus and uh, this is minus. Again, I am uh, taking the hydrozoic acid. This hydrozoic acid, now this hydrozoic acid acts as a base and removes a proton from this structure. Yeah, here it was acting as a nucleophile and it was attacking at the positively charged carbon and here you can see that the hydrozoic acid is acting as a base and removes a proton from nitrogen from the nitrogen atom and what will happen this this bond is uh, shifted to here and uh, simultaneously what is happening to this bond this pair of electron is moving to nitrogen and what you will get we get a structure like this R C double bond O now here it is N, of course uh, it is having, it will become negative and you can see that N, again it is uh, triple bond N, of course uh, this nitrogen is positive, correct? And uh, in the next step, I think uh, this step is uh, common in uh, Hoffman or uh, Curtius or uh, Lawson, what is the next step? This uh, negative charge, that this pair of electron is shifting to here, then what will happen? Uh, this uh, uh, pair of electron is moving to oxygen and we get a structure like this, R, C, O minus, double bond, N, single bond, N, triple bond, N, with uh, this N is having a positive charge, correct? And uh, uh, the uh, next step you know very well, what, is, what will happen? This bond is, uh, this pair of electron is uh, coming back. Then what will happen? This is a concerted mechanism. Immediately the alkyl group is uh, migrated to nitrogen. The same moment N2 molecule is uh, removed. That means minus N2. N2 molecule is removed. Okay. Uh, that means um, uh, N2 molecule is removed as in the case of, uh, um, I think it is in the case of, uh, 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 previous case we have discussed with this type of reaction or mole of nitrogen uh, and uh, endo molecule and we get and we get R C uh, 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 and, 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 and we get you can see that uh, the R is attached to nitrogen therefore R N then double bond C N double bond C double bond O double bond O what is this one isocyanate isocyanate Clear? Okay, uh, almost uh, uh, after, uh, from here, uh, 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 the reaction is like our uh, Hoffman or a uh, Curtius or a uh, Lawson rearrangement and uh, this is the mechanism how isocyanate is uh, formed from, uh, what is that, uh, carboxylic acid and uh, hydrozoic acid in presence of uh, sulfuric acid. Now in the next step, what is that, uh, that also, that next step also you know very well because the isocyanate is reacting with water and you will form primary amine. That is the common reaction we have studied uh, in the previous cases. So uh, in most cases what is that the isocyanate is uh, reacting with the water molecule and it will change into a primary amine. I think uh, uh, isocyanate is mainly used for the preparation of a primary amine. So that step also we are writing R, N, double bond C, double bond O. H2O, H2O, okay, the lone pair is attacking on this carbon and this pair of electron is moving to nitrogen. We are getting R, N minus, uh, single bond uh, C, double bond O, here it is uh, O, H, uh, H with a positive charge and we know that in the next step, 
minus h plus so this h plus is removed okay minus h plus and this h plus is taken by negatively charged nitrogen that means uh, minus h plus and uh, plus h plus what you will get r n h c o h double bond o and in the next step what is happening uh, this this OH bond breaks and this bond is shifted into here and what will happen uh, simultaneously uh, this N C bond is also breaking so what is that uh, uh, again what is that uh, minus H plus here H plus is removed and uh, here this bond is uh, moving to nitrogen nitrogen is getting a negative charge that the nitrogen will take this removed H plus that means plus H plus what we will get uh, we get we get R NH2 R NH2 NH minus it will take H plus R NH2 plus what is eliminated CO. So this entire rearrangement is known as uh, Schmidt rearrangement. Okay, that's all about uh, uh, Schmidt rearrangement and thank you.